Would you be able to tell that this game was made with Unreal Engine 4? How about this one? I'm pretty sure your answer is no, or you're just a liar. But either way, in this video we're gonna go over a couple of 2D games you won't believe were made in Unreal Engine and also take a look at how they were created. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded is a 2D tower defense game created with Unreal Engine 4.27 and I'd bet that you can tell it uses Unreal by just looking at the gameplay footage. I believe the stage backgrounds and characters are just animated paper 2D flipbooks and it appears that the developers even employed pixel perfect rendering, either through pixel snapping in materials or by rendering out the game at a lower internal resolution and then fitting it to the screen size. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded is actually based on the free to play mobile game that released in 2016. However, I think that version wasn't using Unreal and they might have just brought their C++ gameplay code over and implemented it through external codebase integration with Unreal, as many other games do. Arcade Tycoon is an isometric 2D top-down simulator game made with Unreal Engine 4.27. It's gotten favorable reviews, made roughly $100,000 on Steam and is also available on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I've seen many different 2D games made with Unreal, but never have I actually seen a completed game using isometric tile maps like this. While I would absolutely use Unreal for a 2D 3D hybrid isometric game along the lines of FF Tactics or trying a strategy, when it comes to making a tile based isometric 2D game, it reaches the point where even I would start seriously considering other options. On a different note, the game runs extremely fast, only taking about 0.6 milliseconds on my GPU and CPU, making it hover around 1600 FPS when unlocked. So definitely hats off to the developers on everything they were able to achieve here. And by the way, if you want to give making 2D games with Unreal Engine a try yourself, I have multiple courses about this with the ultimate 2D top-down Unreal Engine course being my most recent one. This 17-hour course will teach you how to create three beautiful top-down games and it's currently on sale. So make sure to check it out from the discount link in the description. Terror at Oakart is a 2D side-scrolling horror game inspired by 80s and 90s slasher movies. It was created by a solo developer who goes by Tainted Pact and made multiple successful horror games with Unreal Engine. For Terror at Oakheart, he used Unreal Engine 5.1. And when I reached out to him, he was happy to share some insight on how he made this game and what he thinks about Paper 2D. Even though most people imagine beautifully rendered high fidelity 3D graphics when thinking of Unreal, he knew that it's an extraordinarily flexible engine and wanted to challenge himself to make a 2D side scroller. Although he only used base Paper 2D without any plugins, he said that he never hit any big roadblocks and had a blast making the game. While he opted for pixel art, he didn't aim to recreate the purest retro 2D look and instead let some modern techniques flow into the art style. Even though he experimented with different ways of lighting the scenes, he ended up using Unreal's point lights and spotlights which allowed for a smooth gradient into black. He also made use of Unreal's rather bare bones tile map editor to build out the stages and when we use some magic to freely move the camera around, we can see that all the necessary tile map parts are loaded in at once and the character just teleports around the scene when going through doors. Quit Today is a side-scrolling beat-em-up with roguelike elements made with Unreal Engine 4.27. It features an interesting monochrome look and uses 2D sprites and animations created with Adobe Animate together with 3D environments. To achieve 2D gameplay with a 3D look like this, all you really have to do is constrain the movement of a character on the y-axis. And while most people probably wouldn't be able to tell that this is an Unreal game, a trained eye might be able to point it out by how the reflections look. Quit Today was brought to life by a solo developer doing both the art and the programming and the main reason they chose Unreal Engine was Blueprint Visual Scripting with the majority of the game relying on it as opposed to C++. Currently they're working on their next project called Awakening Beauty which is again a 2D 3D hybrid made with Unreal. Kagura Survivor's Endless Night is a 2D survivor's like created with Unreal Engine 5.3. It plays like your standard Vampire Survivors clone for the most part, but also features ultimate abilities, transformations and has these little clash events where you have to mash buttons really fast. It's currently available in early access and managed to get around 450,000 downloads. I couldn't find much information about how the game was made, but I assume it uses the tile map system for the field with flipbooks for the animated edges of the lake and also paper to the flipbooks for the animated characters. And just a word of warning, even though I didn't find any adult content in this game while playing, it does have tags that would imply it's made for an adult audience and something might get added later. The next game I want to highlight is Twilight Monk by former Blizzard and Riot Games artist Trent Kanyuga and his team Aquatic Moon Games. It's a 2D 3D hybrid action Kung Fu Metroidvania which released in March 2025 on both Steam and the OG Nintendo Switch. In a devlog on Trent's YouTube channel called Why We Switched to Unreal Engine from Game Maker Studio, he goes into detail on how they were able to vastly improve their workflow by switching from Game Maker to Unreal Engine mid-development. This might come as a surprise to many people since Game Maker Studio seems like the better choice for a hand-drawn 2D game on paper, 
but getting natural parallax scrolling just by placing level layers further apart, Unreal Engine allowing them to test play instantly from any point in the level, and Unreal supporting real-time lighting even for sprites all allowed them to work much faster and more efficiently. But since performance for the Switch version was very important and they didn't really need any of Unreal 5's new features, they decided to stick with UE 4.27 instead of going for Unreal Engine 5. Sacre Bleu is a fast action platformer created with Unreal Engine 4. It's a 2D3D hybrid which started out as a hobby project back in 2015, using paper 2D flipbooks for characters and 3D models for the environments. But according to a devlog from about 5 years ago, they moved on to using a bone-based approach for characters using Blender cutouts instead. This means that they would use Adobe Anime to draw the individual parts of the character and then export them into Blender. Here they'd create small planes for each body part and use a skeleton to fit them together and animate them. Eventually they'd be exported as an FBX file and imported into Unreal as a skeletal mesh. While Sacre Bleu was in development for almost 10 years, most of the roughly 13 team members would only work on it part time and Stein, the lead developer, is actually an animator for movies who worked on motion pictures such as Into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man Far From Home and the Lego Movie. It released in April 2025 for PC and the Nintendo Switch. And if you want to see even more 2D games made with Unreal, check out my previous episodes with even more amazing titles. As always, a huge thanks to my awesome patrons and YouTube channel members.